Good day to our BSRM students. In this video lecture, we're going to discuss the module 2, which is the securing instructions. So before we begin, I would like to invite you for a short prayer. Dear Jesus, great teacher and our Lord, you were sent by the Father to teach us that he is the source of all that is good, the fountain of wisdom and knowledge. Gathered in this video lecture, we ask you to send the Holy Spirit to help my students understand our lesson and help them to be attentive and active students. Inspire me, O Lord, to be effective instrument, and through your grace, we may seek the goodness of life you prepared for us in the future. Amen. So, let's begin. So, what is securing instructions? Prior to accepting an instruction to commence work, you should clarify for whom you will be working and how you will be paid, thereby spelling out unequivocally whose interest you will be representing. So, in this lesson, uh, we will give advice on securing of instructions from lessors and leases. Its guidance aims to help you meet the following principles in this professional statement. So number one, conduct business in an honest, fair, transparent, and professional manner. Number two is to ensure that clients are provided with Terms of engagement, which are fair and clear. This should meet all legal requirements and relevant codes of practice, including reference to complaints handling uh, procedures and where it exists, an appropriate redress scheme. Number three, do the utmost to avoid conflict of interest. And where they do arise, deal with them openly, fairly, and promptly. And number four, ensure that it is made clear to all parties with whom you are dealing the scope of your obligation to each party. So, introduction. The relationship between you and your client will be based on terms of engagement or a contract, which will determine the rights and duties of both parties. If the contract does not uh, set out specific terms, this may in some countries be implied by law. As a real estate manager, you may be acting for a number of different types of clients. So, number one is a landlord. So, a landlord is the person who owns a property and rents it out to a tenant. Investor, a business, individual. So, as a real estate manager, it is very important that you understand your client and their objectives before entering into terms of engagement. Before taking instructions, number one, we need to uh, discuss the conflict of interest checks. So before taking instructions from a client, you must check that there are no existing con conflict of interest. You should declare any other possible conflict of interest and gain the potential client's written permission for you to continue to act for them. Before taking instructions, confirming the identity of your client is a must. So, money laundering is an international concern. Individual countries have implemented a regional and international regulations in slightly different ways. And you should therefore refer to the specific legislation for your country. So, 
here in the Philippines, um, as a real estate manager, you should be very familiar in RA9160 or the Anti-Money Laundering Act of 2001, also known as AMLA. So this should be your uh, reference in terms of verifying the identity of your client. As general guidance, you should make a very reasonable effort to confirm the identity of your client before accepting any instructions. Sharing information with your potential client, then you're going to discuss the terms of engagement. Before confirming terms, you should communicate with the client and discuss their requirements and the reasons for this in reasonable detail. You should act with the limit of your experience, your knowledge, your skills, behavior, and performance, and also your goals to achieve the level of, com of competence to meet your client's requirements. Agree with your client the level of feedback and reporting they wish to receive and how you will present the information to them. So we do have four levels of feedback, which is number one is the task. How well has a task been performed? So you should have to discuss with your client and also the process. So what are the strategies needed to perform the task? Are there alternative strategies that can be used? Number three is self-regulation, self-monitoring, directing, monitoring the process and the task. What is the conditional knowledge and understanding needed to know what you're doing? And uh, lastly is self-personal evaluation and effect about the learner. So you should openly discuss this with your client. Sharing information with your potential client in terms of engagement, you should give a written confirmation to your client of their instructions for you to manage a real estate on their behalf. This should include uh, details of your fees and expenses, clearly setting out any base or additional fees, your business terms, and the duration of your instructions. You should give your client the details before they are committed or have any liability towards you. The terms of engagement should clearly state the scope of management. So the scope of uh, the management activities you will carry out and specify what activities are not included. For example, the formal valuation, building surveys, or technical surveys. The term should also include a governing law and jurisdiction provision, setting out with which country's law the terms will be governed by and inter interpreted and to which jurisdiction any unresolved dispute or difference arising in connection with the terms of engagement will be subject. So the terms of engagement can include a single document or number of documents which are to be read in conjunction with each other. You should ensure that your terms are fair and that the docu documentation is written in plain, intelligible and intelligible language. If you use the standard terms of engagement, you should ensure that you give clients an opportunity to negotiate individual terms. Your terms of engagement should also state that a copy of your complaints handling procedures is available on request. 